Hey everyone, welcome back to The Goth House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Now, today I'm doing another challenge video. I know you guys really like the, the Home Can Pantry Challenge, and this is kind of a spin-off of that. Now, Lisa over at Sutton's Days has challenged my friend Linda over at Linda's Pantry in a wonton challenge, so I am going to do a wonton challenge video with the Home Can Pantry goods as well. So today I am going to be using canned chicken, canned carrots, and I'm going to be using some fresh celery because I have it, but I do also have canned celery. So either way, I could definitely use that and make it even quicker. But I'm going to use the fresh celery just to throw in some fresh ingredients. And I'm going to use a fresh onion. So the recipe I'm going to be making with wontons is a quick crepe lock soup. I love crepe lock soup. And making it homemade is great, but this is the next best thing. The chicken is already cooked in its own juices, and we're going to use the juices from this, the chicken. So I'm just going to put everything into the little wonton and make a crepe lock. If you're not sure what a crepe lock is, a crepe lock is a meat-filled dumpling. This is a Jewish recipe, and I frequent Jewish delis. It's my very favorite lunch. Um, I love lots of different Jewish deli foods, <laughs> and I make a lot of them too. The crepe lock is basically a little meat-filled dumpling, and it is going to be floating in a clear chicken broth soup that has onions, celery, and carrots. So it's almost like an inside-out chicken noodle soup kind of thing. This is all inside the noodle rather than floating around the outside. So let me show you how we're going to put it all together. Okay, hey, here's my two fresh ingredients that I'm gonna use. And you know what? I'm only using two fresh celery. I might use the other celeries too. Um, just because I have them and they're sitting on my counter. I just wanted to have a little bit of um, crunchy celery in there too because my canned celery is soft. Okay, so there's half my onion. This is just one medium onion. So there's my onion, and here's my celery. Now, if you're a home canner and you love crepe lock soup, you are going to love this. This is such an easy way. I've just got some plain old butter and I'm going to put a good tablespoon in. I'm using butter because I like the flavor. You want to use coconut oil, olive oil, you go ahead. But with chicken soup, I really like the taste of butter. And then I'm just going to throw in my medium onion and my two celeries right on top of the butter here. And that's it for my chopped ingredients. This is how quick and easy this soup is going to be. And I am going to go ahead and salt and pepper these right away because I really want to cook them down a little bit. And they need to have some flavor. Oh, I'm also going to put, and then over there, if you can see. Right here, I have a pot of um, boiling water. This one's smaller. I'm just gonna put the crepe locks in here, and you know, I like to cook them separately than my soup, and I cook them to order. So I like to get the crepe lock made and then leave them sit, and then when I'm dipping up the soup, I cook the crepe lock over here and then pull them out, strain them a little bit, and then put them in the bowl of soup. That way they're not sitting in there, falling apart, and getting overcooked and everybody gets fresh crepe locks. As soon as this cooks down a little bit and we're ready to add the garlic, we'll be back. So it'll be about five minutes. I've got two big cloves of garlic. I'm gonna squeeze them in.
They're actually so big I have to cut them in half to put them in my garlic press. I'm going to get that garlic in. I'm not making a very big pot of soup here, so that's why there's not that many vegetables in there. If you want to make it, if you're making it for your whole family, you're going to want to put a little bit more. I'm just going to deglaze the pan a smidge. Whew. Hot stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to take a small spoonful of the vegetables and put it into a bowl. I'm going to take the rest of the water and put it in. That is four cups of water. I think I'm going to do a couple more. Is that going to be enough? That's probably enough for the two of us. Okay. In this, I have called the pollo. And I am going to use three or four cubes. I'm going to put three in first and then we'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm opening up my carrots. and I'm going to drain them. So in this bowl that I have put just a tiny bit of the onions, I'm going to put some of the carrots in also. Because this is going to make up our creplock filling. I just want a couple of the vegetables to flavor it. It's going to be mainly chicken. And then the rest of these are going to go right into the soup. Already cooked. I am going to use my celery. I'm going to drain it off and I'm just going to put it right in. And then my chicken. I am going to drain my chicken right into this. Get that slow cooked broth. It's, not even, it's the juice that the chicken made itself. Alright, that looks delicious already and boy does it smell good. You know what, I might add two more cups of water in here. Just make it an even eight cups. Okay, so I use eight cups of water total. We're ready to make our filling while this comes up to a boil. And I am going to put one more cube in. There we go. Okay, crep lock filling. I have... Some of the celery, some of the carrots, some of the onion, garlic. I'm just going to break it up the carrots a little bit. I'm going to mash the vegetables a little bit. I'm going to get a fork for the rest. So you mash some of the soup vegetables together, put the chicken in, and there you've got your crepe lock. And how many vegetables you want in depends on you. I like a lot of vegetable because I like the flavor of it. If you want more meat, then you add more meat than vegetable. Okay, I'm going to put in some of the chicken. I'm probably going to use half of this. I don't, I'm not going to use the whole thing. I'm going to save the other half for something else. because it's just two of us. Oh, 
Okay, I'm going to add pepper. And some sea salt. Good on the sea salt. Okay, and there is our crepe lock filling. Now we're going to build our crepe locks. You can build your crepe lock any shape you like. I'm going to just do triangles. You don't want to overdo it. And then this is egg. These things seal best with egg. You can do water, but I'm going to put them in water and sometimes they bust open. So I just I like to use the egg. So I'm going to do this right into triangles. Got a little too much filling in there, I think. So just make them, seal them. You can set them on a tray. I'm going to grab a tray. I bigger than what I need, but I'm just going to... I'm going to set them on a tray until I'm ready. And my husband is not here right now, but this is going to be dinner, and I'm going to eat it for lunch, too, because I love crepe lock soup. <laughs> So when I'm ready to serve the soup, I'll drop these little dumplings in. If you want to be fancy and flip these and um, seal these edges together and put them in your soup like this, you can also do it this way. Depends on how you want to eat it. But you're literally only going to eat a few um, crepe locks, you know, in each um, bowl of soup. You can also do this with beef. If you have canned beef and you'd rather do beef, it's still generally served with chicken broth. So you can use your home canned chicken broth for this, or you can use better than bouillon, chicken bouillon, anything you want to use. Okay, so I just like them to dry a little bit before I use them. They stick together better that way. This is the fastest crepe lock there is. <laughs> And I'm going to refrigerate the other ones. Um, wow, those are flowery. Until my um, husband comes home and he's ready to eat his. And you always want to boil these in a separate pot than what your soup is. Because just like when you make homemade pasta from the flour, it gets your broth kind of yucky. Always boil your pasta in a separate, a separate pan than what your soup is in. I made a lot of homemade pasta over the years and when I was younger I used to think that my noodles needed that flavor of that soup but it always makes my um, broth mucky. Windy out there today. I can hear it <laughs> roaring through the top of my uh, uh, vent. <laughs> When I have all these done and I'm ready to put it together, we'll be back. Okay, so I just boiled my wontons and put them in my soup. And my camera went off so you didn't even get to see it. So I'm going to boil one more for you. 
boiling salted water. I'm going to put my wonton in. It really only takes a couple of minutes. Probably not even. <laughs> Um, the little bit of mixture that we had, I got 16 Kreplock out of that. And I just boiled four and put them in my soup base in my bowl. And then my camera was off, so I did another one. <laughs> so here's my soup base with my Kreplock. And my soup base is so delicious. Um, I've added some dill to it. Normally you serve this with a little fresh dill. I just use dried dill because that is what I had. Okay, I'm gonna turn my heat off. This guy is done. And I'm gonna add it to my now very full bowl of Kreplock. Kreplock soup. Super quick, super easy, and super delicious. That's all there is to it. Homemade Kreplock soup in just minutes. This took me 20 minutes. I already had the chicken canned, the carrots, and the celery. I cut up the fresh onion, a little bit of fresh celery, cooked it a little bit, added some fresh garlic. It really didn't take long at all. Kept my water boiling and I salted it right before I put my little Kreplock in. Um, that little bit made 16 Kreplock. You could use the whole jar if you're feeding an, an entire family and double the recipe that I just did. But it's so easy and it's so good. So, I'm going to let you go because it's lunchtime and I am hungry. <laughs> okay, so I just had to come back on here and tell you since I've already eaten my whole bowl of Kreplock soup. It was so good. It was better than probably half of the Kreplock that I've had out at restaurants. So... If you've got canned chicken, oh, make this crepe lock. It's so good. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. If you haven't started following me on Instagram, you should. Jenny Goff 18 I pretty much post daily what I'm working on. Also on Facebook, and visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.